it's one of the things I do when I'm starting uh, uh, a movie is I'm not like a starting movie when I'm thinking about writing a film when I have like an idea for a film is what I'll do is I'll go through my record collection and just start playing songs trying to like basically I guess in some ways find the personality of the movie find the the, the spirit of the movie and um, and then boom eventually like I'll hit like one two three songs that like you know uh, you know one song in particular oh this would be a great opening credit song you know because to me the opening credits are very very important because that's sort of like your that's like your that's like the only like mood time that most movies give themselves you know and like you know a, a, a cool credit sequence and the like with that and the, and the music that plays in front of it you know or no play any music in front of it you know whatever you decide to do that sets up like a, a, a tone for the movie that that is important for you and um, and so that's you know so I'm always trying to find like what the right opening credit or closing credit sequence should be, you know, early on when I'm just even thinking about the story. Because once I find it, that really kind of triggers me in to what the personality of this piece should be, what the rhythm of this piece should be. Like I'm saying, you don't have to use music. It could just be silence, all right? All right, and, but then that's important. That is like kind of in some ways like the, the rhythm and, and more or less the personality you're trying to project in this film. Having Mr. Lou as your opening credits it's just so intense, you know, it just says, you're watching an epic, you're watching this big old movie, just sit back, as you know, I mean, because it's so loud and blaring at you, you know, it's just like, actually, it, 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 it throws down a gauntlet that the movie now has to live up to, because it's just saying, where 